You mentioned that with your last pregnancy, you had symphysis pubis dysfunction. Um, basically, what this boils down to is a hormone called relaxin, and this is released by a woman's body during pregnancy in efforts to increase the internal diameter of your pelvis, which increases the chances that the baby will fit through your pelvis when it comes time for delivery, and they can be born vaginally. So it's actually your body's way of helping itself, but it can cause pain. A lot of pregnant women notice that their pubic bone is tender during pregnancy, and it's due to the fact that the ligament there is actually being relaxed by this hormone called relaxin, and it separates it a little bit more, like about um, two or three millimeters. It's about two or three millimeters wider than it was before you got pregnant. And um, there, there really isn't any treatment for this, and there's no way to prevent it from happening again next time you get pregnant. But there are some things that you can do to help you when you do get pregnant and notice that you're starting to have pain again. First of all, because it just makes your pelvic joints feel a little bit unstable, make sure you're moving both of your legs at once. Like when you're getting out of a chair, getting out of the car or into bed, instead of putting one leg up or, or down at a time and then another, move them at the same time. Um, avoid uh, balancing on one foot, so this might affect your exercise routines. Um, also, get plenty of rest. If you notice that it's hurting, just rest. And in a lot of instances, that will help. Sleeping on your back might hurt more, so tilt yourself on the side, which is actually what you should do after 20 weeks of pregnancy anyway. Get a firm pillow or a blanket and roll it up, put it behind your hip and it will prop you to one side. And then you can get another pillow or another rolled blanket and put it underneath your belly so it's not just suspended in the air and pulling off to the side. Avoid prolonged periods of sitting and um, when you're traveling in a car or sitting in an unsupportive chair, bring a pillow that you can put behind your back. Avoid wearing high heels and standing for long periods of time, and um, hopefully these things will alleviate that pain for you. You can also talk with your doctor about over-the-counter pain medications that are safe during pregnancy if it gets bad again. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.